10 tips for writing 20 blog posts a day. Writing 20 blog posts a day may seem like an outrageous amount. It may sound so huge that you'd rather pluck out all your hair than write that much. But if you can pull it off, the amount of traffic you'll be able to generate is no joke. And I don't need to tell you about all the leads and conversions you'll be able to get with that traffic. Anyways, here are some tips that I use to create 20 blog posts a day. They'll make the process infinitely easier for you. Tip number one, don't try to write 20 blog posts a day right away. As with anything that involves big numbers, you'll have to ease your way up the ladder. If you're totally new to blogging, start with maybe half a blog post a day. Or if you're more experienced than one blog post a day. Once you're able to achieve that effortlessly, then add another one more per day. And another. And another. Tip number two, keep using the same format over and over again. The previous tip dealt with the mental aspect of writing 20 blog posts a day. Here comes the time and energy part. Writing 20 blog posts a day takes lots of time. Normally. But a quick and easy way to cut down that time is. Keep using the same format. Over and over again. For all your blog posts. A huge amount of time spent writing is spent on formatting and rearranging. If you can eliminate this part. Dot dot dot. You'll be amazed at how quickly you can churn out an article. The easiest way to find a great article format, preferably a viral one, and keep using it over and over again. Tip number three. You need to get faster at typing. When I first started blogging over a decade ago, my typing speed was painfully slow. Thereafter, I taught myself how to touch type. I learned to type with all my fingers. And without looking at the keyboard. And I even migrated to using the Dvorak keyboard layout for additional speed. If you want to pump out content fast, there's no ways around it. You either need to work on building up your typing speed, or you'll need to use voice to text automation. And speak into a microphone instead of typing. Google Docs has this feature available for free. It's actually a lot easier than typing to be honest but you'll need to spend more time correcting errors. So it uses up time on editing. Tip number four, focus on a niche that you're super familiar with. Either that, or get super familiar with the niche you're currently in. One of the biggest time wasters when it comes to writing blog posts is doing the research. You want to write a sentence or paragraph about something, but you're not too sure about the details. And you have to look it up. That takes a ton of time. Either blog in a niche that you know like the back of your hand. So you don't need to do any research. Or start knowing your niche like the back of your hand. Tip number five, give yourself a reward after every blog post you finish. Motivation is important too. Especially when you're pumping out 20 blog posts a day like me. I find the best way to stay motivated is to reward myself every time after I finish one or two blog posts. What should you motivate yourself with? Stuff that you love doing. For me that's reading fiction. Or playing video games. For you, it might be shooting some hoops. Tip number six, learn to write like you talk. When your brain has to convert the audio in your head into muscle movements in your fingers, it's actually a lot more difficult than just changing your voice into mouth movements. You're using different brain wiring altogether. If you want to make blogging even more effortless, just type or write like you talk. Say a sentence out loud with your mouth. Then type it out. Say a sentence out loud. Then type it out. Or just use text-to-speech software like I talked about before. Not only does it make writing easier, but your article will come out reading way better. Tip number seven, break your blog posts down into way smaller chunks. Seth Godin is well known for his consistency with blogging. He blogs every single day since. I don't know when, but he's super consistent. The secret, his blog posts are super short, but here's what's fascinating about it. Even though his blog posts are super short, he has tons of them, and that helps him when publishing new books. He takes multiple blogs under a single topic and puts them together and voila, it's a new book. The thing I'm trying to say here is, if you're having trouble writing just one blog post, instead of writing one big blog post, write 10 mini blog posts and combine them together into one. Tip number 8. Work out for 1-2 to two hours a day. Preferably in the morning. Or split it into two sessions of one hour each. Trust me. Exercise is one of the biggest factors when it comes to productivity. It keeps your energy levels high, makes your brain clear, and helps you not to burn out when you need to write 20 blog posts a day. Tip number 9. Just write first as fast as you can and then edit later. Don't try to edit while you're writing. It makes it so slow just to pump out a single blog post. Writing and editing use different sections of the brain. The one thing you don't want to do is to switch your brain again and again. It'll kill your productivity. And truth be told, the ideas you communicate in your writing are more important than the writing itself. So don't worry too much about the editing. Tip number 10. Use other people's content when you can. Just because you're writing a blog post doesn't mean you have to create everything in the blog post yourself. You can easily borrow content from other sources to make your blog post fuller, bigger, and more informative. For example, embed videos, slideshows, tweets, and more. Mix up some paragraphs from a PLR piece in there to help you speed the process up. Just don't add too much. One or two here and there and who'll know. Add lots of quotations, statistics and numbers. 
Not only does it make your blog post more authoritative, but it helps you bulk up on useful content fast, without having to think of stuff to write. That's all for now. Link and resources are in the description below. And if want more tips and training for super fast content creation, visit the IM Coupons website for the best deals. Thanks for subscribing.